and welcome to Pilates Wheel 101. I'm Kimmy and it's Friday afternoon so we're doing center of the room and um, on the notes I put that we have our blue straps with foot loops attached to the wheel. The wheel is set at the high bar position um, and we have two handles off to the side. So um, we're, we're going through sort of a beginner version of a full body workout um, and so let's make sure you have the written consent of your healthcare provider before we start this workout. And we are gonna come onto our backs. So when we come down onto our backs, we're gonna have the wheel sort of at the top of our head. And um, our foot loops are gonna be um, kind of extended out and we're going to reach both hands up and grab onto your bar. And then we're gonna take our right hand to the left foot loop. And we're going to put our foot in the foot loop and then we're going to take our right hand back onto the foot bar we're going to or onto the bar and then we're going to take our left hand and grab onto the right foot so now that we have our feet in the straps so our heels are extended up toward the ceiling we're holding onto the bar so our shoulder girdle is working just to hold the bar um, and the wheel above our head in a stable position so we're connecting our heels, our toes are apart, we're pointing the toes slightly, and from here we're going to take an inhale. We're pressing our tailbone into the mat, and we're hugging our rib cage in. So as we're pressing our tailbone into the mat, our belly button is drawing deep in towards your spine, and our shoulder blades are sort of running down our back. We're grabbing onto the muscles underneath the armpits to um, activate our shoulder girdle, and then we're going to take an inhale and then as we exhale we bring our heels down toward the well or the uh, mat and inhale lift them back up so really making sure that the tailbone is not lifting up and down with your movement you feel like you're anchored on the tailbone the or we feel like the tailbone is anchored to the mat so that we have this sensation of hinging from our hips. And last one like that. Let's bring the feet back up toward the ceiling. From here, we're gonna to start to bicycle. So because we're going at different resistance on both sides with these straps, we're really gonna to have to hold on to the wheel nice and strong so that it stays steady and it's not wobbling all over the place. So I um, also want you to think about pressing the base of the skull into the mat so the chin is not pushing up toward the ceiling. We're reaching the crown of the head toward the back of the room. And when we're doing our bicycle, another thing that I want you to think about is keeping everything in line. So our knee is staying in line with the hip and the ankle are all sort of in our little box um, on our mat. And now we're gonna back pedal. And seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, um, from here, our legs are coming straight up. We're going to keep the heels connected and the toes are open. And we're going to bend our knees in. The knees are coming, they're going to be set up right above the hips. So don't come in further so that you're at a, uh, a deeper angle. You want to keep it 90 degrees in the in the knees. And now from here, we're going to exhale, ex extend the legs out long, spiraling your inner thighs toward each other, connecting everything in the center, and then bend it back in. Make sure you pause when you're extended so you get that whole idea of sort of one leg as we're extended long. And 
the last one. Now from here, we're gonna take our right leg high, left leg stays low, and we're gonna swing the legs out into a half circle, changing position. So now our left leg's high and the right leg is low. And right back to where we started. This one's called helicopter, and we kind of see why now. And when your legs are back into the midline position, do not cross midline. Still keep at hip distance. Now let's bring the right leg back up to the top, keeping the heels connected, and we're gonna go for big wide circles. So when we're going out big into these circles, you feel like you're pulling your femur bones into your hip sockets as you're reaching the legs, toes out long. Feeling the stretches in the inner thighs as you go out and around. And three, two, and one. Let's bring it back to the top and we're gonna reverse our circle. Now check in where your shoulders are, making sure, because we haven't taken a break at all to stretch the shoulders out, making sure that the shoulders are really working and drawing down your back and you're not hiking them up into your ears. We're gonna, three more here, and two, and last one. Let's bring the legs all the way back up together at the top. Reach the arms all the way out long. Feel that stretch in the back of the legs as you sort of reach the heels toward the ceiling. Don't let your straps fling off your feet though. And now press the tailbone deep into the mat as you open up the hamstrings and the calves, backs of the legs. Bend your elbows back in, bend your left knee in, reach up and grab onto the strap with your right hand and switch to the other side. And now from here, we're going to come on up and we're going to keep the straps on. We're gonna go for some side legs. So we're right up against our wheel. So the wheel is sort of tucked underneath us. Um, a good position for it is sort of uh, underneath the rib cage. And you're, we're starting on our left side. So your right hand is on the other side of the wheel and your left leg has the strap attached onto the foot. Um, so you're holding onto the, the bar with both hands and our hips are stacked. So make sure both hip bones are pointing forward and your shoulders are drawing down and they're both square as well. And now you're gonna lift your right or your left leg up and down, keeping the toe and the hip lined up with one another um, so that we're not externally rotating that foot, that leg open, you keep it parallel. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold that leg high, and now we're gonna start circles. Five, six, seven, eight, and let's reverse that. And seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's keep the foot loop on that leg. We're coming up onto our knees, holding onto the wheel with our hands, keeping it nice and steady. So the wheel's gonna be slightly forward of the shoulders. That way we can have an extra resistance on the strap. And from here, we're gonna extend the leg all the way out behind, 
keeping the hip and the knee lined up on your right side and now bend it back in and extend. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's bend that leg back in, take the strap off, and we're just going to turn and face the other direction. So we have now our right leg is going to go into the strap, and our left arm is on the other side of the bar. So let's make sure our hips are stacked, both pointing the same direction as our shoulders. We're going to lift that leg up and down on the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the leg lifted. Uh, extend it out through the toes. Pull the femur bone back into your hip socket and we're going to start circles. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now reverse that. Now keeping the upper body as still as possible. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring that foot back to the mat. Then we're coming, keep the foot loop on. We're coming on to our knees. I apologize about the noise out there. And now we're going to take the right leg and lift and extend it all the way out behind us and bend it back in. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Point the toe, externally rotate that leg out from your hip and lift it all the way up toward the ceiling. Six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring the foot all the way down, bend the knee in, take your foot loop off, and then we're going to take our straps completely off. Put them off to the side. We will come back to them a little later. So now we have just the wheel overhead. So we're coming to lay down flat on our back. The wheel is directly above our head. We're going to reach the arms all the way out long. Point the toes, hug your rib cage down, tuck your tail under, and draw the kneecaps up. Every single muscle in your body is working right here. And now we're going to just bend your elbows, lift your elbows up toward the ceiling. As we take the wheel, roll it toward our head, lift it up off the ground over the head, Take it to the chest. And now start to extend the arms out long as you tuck the chin to the chest, look down toward your belly button, and then we're going to roll all the way up without using momentum. Wheel comes to the mat, and we reach forward with the wheel. So we're oppositionally pull, pulling, or reaching the wheel forward as we draw our navel deep into our spine, reaching, and then Pull it all the way back. So start to roll the wheel back as you curl one vertebrae at a time. 
all the way down to the mat. Bring the wheel to your chest and lift it just above the head, over head. And now let's take an inhale and then as we exhale, we start to bring the wheel across the chest to the chin to the chest. Start to curl the head, neck and shoulders up, rounding all the way up as we reach, trying to go beyond the toes. If you're not flexible like me, you don't go beyond the toes. Rounding one vertebrae at a time all the way back and lift the wheel overhead. So we're in a spinal flexion at this position. So we're pushing the front rib cage toward the back rib cage. We're drawing the belly button deep into your spine and we're tucking our tail under. Rounding all the way forward and rounding. We're still rounded in that flexion all the way down. Take your wheel. And now when we're down here, let's try and go into sort of a little bit of an extension. So keep the shoulder blades drawing down your back. And now we're going to go right back into that flexion. Just feeling the stretches down the backs of the legs when you're coming forward as well. Now when your arms are behind you, feeling the stretches in the shoulders. two more right here. So I, uh, like I said in the beginning of starting this, we're not looking for momentum. We're looking for a lot of control in our movement. And momentum generally happens with this one as we're new to it. Um, the wheel is sort of helping as a lever to avoid that momentum especially at that position right there, that very beginning of curling the torso up off the mat. Let's go down one more time. And then let's just leave the wheel right above the head and we're going to come on up and we're going to attach. Well, first we have to take the foot loops off the blue straps. They're going to, we're gonna reattach the foot loops with the handles doubled up on the, uh, the wheel. We're gonna leave the wheel at the high bar. And we're going to come to a seated position. So the blue straps are, you know, there are, are stronger resistance straps. So I want you to sort of set up, we're coming into some seated rows and bicep curls. So I want you to set up where you feel is right for your strength. Um, so let's bend our knees in slightly just to find where you are. We're seated, lifted up out of the pelvic bowl and we are going to reach the crown of the head toward the ceiling, taking the shoulder blades and drawing them down your back. So now when I say the shoulder blades are drawing down your back, that's when our spine is sort of in an extension. So we're, so when I say we're lifted up out of the pelvic bowl, the spine is extending as we're lifting. So our, our chest is sort of lifting up in the direction of the ceiling. And now our arms are out long. Plug the arm bones into the shoulder sockets. And now we're going to take an inhale, and then as we exhale, we're gonna draw the elbows back behind us, lifting the chest even higher, but don't let the rib cage flare open so that we feel that extension even deeper on the spine. And then let's slowly and with control bring the arms all the way forward. And if you feel like you're strong enough, you can start to straighten the legs out a little bit more. Extend the arms long and lift. 
the chest as you pull the elbows back behind you. Now, um, if you've gotten a little ambitious and it's a little bit strong for you, and to muscle it back, you go like this, bend your knees more. I don't want the rotation, the internal rotation on the shoulders. I want that extension, that lift. And let's bring it all the way forward. You lose resistance, which is fine. Take the shoulder blades, run them down your back, and bend it all the way behind you, bringing the elbows back to the root. So you almost feel like you're lifting up. You're getting taller as you pull the arms behind you, or the elbows behind you. And three, two, and one. Now from here, I'm gonna bend my knees in because I know I'm not quite strong enough to get this bicep curl happening in the right way. So as we bend the knees in, we stay lifted out of the pelvic bowl and then just pull the hands toward the shoulders. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Extend the arms all the way up long. Stretch those biceps out because they've just been in a concentrated form. And we're going to reach down and take the blue straps off. Put them off to the side. And now we are going to drop our foot bar all the way down to the lower level. So grab your knob, lift, twist it to loosen, open it up, and bring it, drop your bar down, make sure it's locked and tightened to the, uh, make sure it's stable. All right, so from here, we're going to take our wheel again over our heads as we're laying down on our stomachs. Our hands are gripping on to the wheel. I like to have, for this one, my thumbs on the same side as my fingers, just because I feel like my shoulders are rotated in a better position. And from here, we're gonna press the tops of the feet into the mat as we tuck our tail, draw our kneecaps up. So our legs are sort of, um, the feet are not lifted, but the legs are sort of lifted up off the mat. And now we're tucking our tail under, draw the shoulder blades down your back, as you take an inhale and then, ex sorry, exhale all that air out of your lungs. And then as we take long arms, reach the crown of the head, pull your wheel toward you as we lift up. And we're still inhaling and then we're exhaling as we bring it down. Inhale, lift, keep the arms long and exhale down. Inhale, lift, and exhale, bring it down. So this is going for that very exaggerated extension on our spine. I'm such a fan of these because I believe that they're so healthy and good for us. Okay, so that is sort of like a little intro to uh, swan. Let's get a little bit deeper into it. Now from here, we're gonna lift our legs up off the mat as our arms are extended out, our head is still down. And now we're going to bring the feet back down as we lift the torso. Lift the legs when our torso is down. We'll go one more time. Excellent. Okay, so from here, I just want to give our backs a little stretch. So let's come up onto our knees and 
we are going to sit back onto the heels, open the knees, keep the heels together, and then reach the arms all the way forward as you bring your chest between the knees and bring, if you can, the forehead to the mat. Now start to round, lifting with your belly, the spine all the way up. And from here, we're going to give our legs a little stretch. Hold on to your wheel. If you're super flexible, you can hold on to your bar. The, let's bring our left foot in the arch onto the bar. Try and get it as centered as possible. And now from here, I want you to think about where your hips are. And um, so in an isometric way, you're gonna pull your right hip high as you drop your left hip low. So it's just a really tiny little movement of the pelvic bowl to kind of center it off and get it square. And now your hands are on the wheel. Let's take them down to the bar. And let's move the back knee back just slightly as we start to press the wheel forward. Now, if you have really opened hamstrings, but not a lot of strength, I want you to be very, very careful and use all the muscles you have to extend that leg long. So with a really flexible hamstring, you may be able to get your leg all the way straight. I can't, um, but I'm certainly feeling a nice deep stretch here. Now keep the shoulders rounding down so you're not rounding or bringing them up towards your ears. And now just kind of soften into that stretch as you're still kind of holding on to the stability of where the wheel is. Now draw your belly button in as you start to bring the leg or the foot back toward you. And then you can take your hand on to the wheel, step the left foot down, put the knee on the ground, and then let's reach around and grab onto the right leg. So um, the right foot is on the center of the foot bar and let's bring our hands to the bar and start to press the wheel forward. So now our hips are not lined up, you know, with our knee that's on the mat. So our, we're sort of opening up through the hip flexors as well. And now let's bring that foot forward as we open up the back of that leg. And now draw your belly button in as you start to bring the wheel back to you. And let's do one more stretch. So now, so you bring your foot back on the ground, line the knees up with your hips, press the tops of the feet into the mat. Now tuck your chin into your chest, round, tuck your tail underneath you, rounding your spine, as you start to press the wheel forward with long arms. Now, once the wheel gets so far forward, you can take your tail out from underneath you, press your chest toward the mat, and pull the arm bones back into the sockets as you just um, press the chest down toward the mat and you're sort of opening up the shoulders. This is a kind of a half downward dog with a deeper shoulder stretch because the wheel can take you a little bit further. Now from here, we're gonna scoop our belly under. Look down toward your belly button and rounding all the way back up. And that is our workout for the day. So um, thanks for coming to watch on Friday afternoon and I will be here Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, for the DLX and it will be a full body um, 101 beginner workout. All right, uh, have a great Friday and I will see you soon.